Do you know what? Normally I would have a really snappy intro, but Wi-Fi 8, it's a thing. <laughs> you know, Wi-Fi 7, I think not a lot of people have got it right now. Now we're talking about Wi-Fi 8. So, Wi-Fi 8. Yes, exactly. Um, Wi-Fi 8, is it a thing now? Yeah, so uh, it is not quite a thing now, but uh, we are looking at concepts and right now, you know, obviously looking towards the future, looking towards uh, the next generation of Wi-Fi. And this is the Neo Core. Is that a prototype name or is that going to be the so final? The, yeah, so that's this is what we're deeming is the Neo Core. It is a prototype. This is a prototype model, a concept model for Wi-Fi 8. And what exactly does Wi-Fi 8 bring the Wi-Fi 7 isn't facilitating mm -hmm. at this time? Yeah, so uh, we aren't necessarily looking at theoretical speeds of how fast Wi-Fi 8 can be, mm. but more of the stability within your network how your devices are, are communicating with your routers, uh, how your router is communicating with the, with the internet, essentially. So trying to make it more stable, uh, whether it is more too noisy, if you're in an apartment building and there are multiple routers and networks around you, uh, or if uh, you're at distance uh, from your router as well. So uh, also looking at kind of the edge cases where uh, with smart home devices and things like that. So, I mean, it's, I mean, arguably, from what you just said there, Wi-Fi 8 is about efficiency rather than it is speed. I mean, when you mentioned about the distance and different devices communicating, is it about the way they communicate or the amount of data being communicated? So it's more about the way that it communicates. So uh, something that I had brought up before is a kind of noisy, noisy scenarios or environments. Mm -hmm. So, if, for example, if you uh, live in an apartment building, at any moment in time, you could be within range of 20, 25, 30 different uh, routers or different networks. Um, Wi-Fi 8, the focus here is to try to cut through a lot of the noise and to give a more uh, a specific kind of uh, concentrated uh, signal uh, so that you don't run into a more interference. Uh, and at the same time, it works on cadence of when it speaks compared to other routers as well. Uh, so the whole idea is certainly stability and smoothness. I mean, ultimately, when I mean, people are going to need Wi-Fi 8 routers and Wi-Fi 8 clients. Mm -hmm. But does it bring effectively, I mean, Wi-Fi is still sadly a consumer platform right now, but is it going to bring, uh, maintain things like multi-link output and that kind of stuff? Is it going to be taking advantage of any larger frequencies or is it basically expanding upon the 6 gigahertz? So we're going to be expanding on the 6 gigahertz. So uh, it's going to be up to a quad band as well. Just wow. similar, Yeah, similar to, to Wi-Fi 7 as well. Um, but uh, in terms of the bands, it is going to be similar as well. Yeah. And this is this going to be rolling out? I mean, this is clearly a prototype. At this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the most beautiful D&D uh, &D dice I've ever seen <laughs> with integrated heatsink. Hopefully you can see more on screen. But I mean, is this going to be rolling out with like 10 gig networking wired as standard or is it still too early to say? So it is too early to say, unfortunately. We don't have hard specs for a unit like this yet um, or uh, timelines for something like this, but we are expecting, you know, maybe Wi-Fi 8 will, will be something that's coming to the market uh, within uh, in 2026, but no hard dates yet. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. I appreciate Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thanks for watching.